fast look at the start of the week weather. Right up next, the Maritimes plays host to 14 young people from the inner cities of Belfast. Find out why they're here when we come back. I cut out the frames for the, uh, the mold, and uh, that was the summer of 71. Summer of 71? Yeah, I came to St. John, they had the plans with me. For Apple McIntosh, the boat has been a labor of love and patience for more than 20 years. It's a 45-foot concrete haul yacht. This week in the St. John area, a man was using an epoxy mix to patch some of the concrete. He hopes to launch the boat next spring from the St. John Power Boat Club. It'll be called the Loda, which is merely Apple spelled backwards. It's uh, cute. Well, it's a big day in St. John for 14 local families and their newly arrived guests from overseas. Over the next month, each family will be hosting a youth from Belfast. It's part of an annual program that's designed to give the Belfast kids a summer vacation away from the tension and the violence of their homeland. Our Mike Cameron has this story. She kicked her sister out of the room. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Can you help her please? Emily Bossy is waiting for a friend she's never met, though they have exchanged letters. I am in Form 1, which would be Year 8 in Canada. We have a lot of activities planned, like on the schedule, but we would probably go biking and swimming and to the beaches. Emily and her family are hosting a girl from Northern Ireland, something they've done in years past. It was just a treat. It was like a little vacation come to us. It was really fun. I know it's English. It's not Gaelic, <laughs> but the, it, there are different expressions, you know, like potato chips or crisps and uh, all sorts of different things, and it, it took some getting used to. This afternoon, the waiting was over. Eight girls and six boys arrived in St. John, all from the inner city area of Belfast, and not knowing quite what to expect. We're going to play a football match, and, and there's going to be a banquet and um, the circus. Going to the zoo and playing football in the banquet and all the end before we go home. Of the 14 visitors, seven are Catholic, seven are Protestant. They have an opportunity to come over here and uh, spend a whole month uh, with, you know, free, no searches, no soldiers. Um, it's just, and they have a, what they call a grand time. But they're all like so excited. It's been their first trip across, you know, first time on an airplane, the first time going abroad. So they're all pretty excited, yeah. This is the seventh year that local families have hosted kids from Northern Ireland. It's become an adventure not only for the kids, but for the families, too. Everyone was a bit nervous for the first meeting. And they're off for a month of getting to know each other, and perhaps at the same time, help bring peace to Northern Ireland, one kid at a time. In St. John, Mike Cameron, ATV News. Great story. Still to come, we'll take a quick look at our primetime lineup for tonight. That's right, and still we'll be back with a final weekend weather update. And the ATV Evening News Weekend returns in just a couple of minutes. Well, this may not look like an impressive scene, but what's inside certainly is. British Formula 2 cars that are participating in the upcoming Moosehead Grand Prix are packed away inside this truck that arrived aboard a container ship today in Halifax. Drivers and crews will be arriving tomorrow night and offloading the British F2 cars Tuesday. Now for last best look at weather, here's Phil McLaughlin. Phil? Thanks, Jonathan. Well, we have the showers and thunder showers pushed across the Maritimes, and here's the live eye of the skyline of Halifax. If your television is a good one, you can see the bank of clouds. Well, out to sea now to the south of Nova Scotia, and the weather just getting out of here. So looking pretty good. So wake-up weather for tomorrow, well, pretty good. We'll go with lots of sunshine. We're going to call it a nice morning. Morning lows, 10 to 12 degrees, so not too bad. A little cooler and less humid, certainly, than the past number of mornings. And for Monday itself, we'll see lots of sunshine, just a few afternoon clouds, brisk northwest winds gusting to 30, and head to the beach tomorrow. A great beach day. And look at those temperatures, low to mid-20s, pretty good overall. The weather fact, now we talked about earlier, the sunniest month inland was July. How about along the coast, guys? The sunniest month in the Maritimes along the coast? August. July. What would you say? August. July. <laughs> yes. August. August. Yes. Solid. You win. Take next weekend off. <laughs> Thanks, so I don't think the boss will go for it. Let's take a look I at ATV's primetime <laughs> lineup. I wonder what your golf tour was. ATV's primetime lineup after our show tonight. 7 o'clock, Murder, She Wrote. 8 o'clock, Biggest Little Ticket. 9 o'clock, Lois and Clark. 
10 o'clock, prairie oyster, and 11 o'clock with glowing hearts. And tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, is high-tech helping to convict criminals? DNA evidence was used in the case against Alan Legere and may possibly be used against O.J. Simpson. The complete details, Monday night at 6 o'clock. And that's all the time we have for tonight. I'd give you my score, but we've run out of time. No, Good we night, haven't. everyone. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> I don't know. What was it anyway? Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next weekend, same time, same place. Bye-bye. <laughs>